Devising ways to better serve the needs of pre-primary students across the OECS was the focus of two days of discussion, which attracted participation from 70 of Grenada's early childhood education leaders. They joined their regional counterparts virtually to discuss strategies under the theme Reflect, Refocus and Renew. The forum was organized by the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States Program for Educational Advancement and Relevant Learning, OECS Pearl, which is funded by the Global Partnership for Education. Sarana Mitchell has more in this report. Approximately 70 of Grenada's early childhood education leaders gathered at the Karani James Athletic Stadium for a two-day forum on Tuesday and Wednesday under the theme Reflect, Refocus and Renew. At intervals, the local educators joined their OECS counterparts virtually and shared their concerns about the early learners in their care. At the opening ceremony on Tuesday, the OECS Commission Program Director for Education, Cicera Simon, shared some alarming figures from recent studies conducted, which pointed out the effects the COVID-19 pandemic has had on the education of young children. A report in December of 2021 by the World Bank, UNESCO and UNICEF revealed that younger students had less access to remote learning and were affected by learning loss than older students, especially among the three to four age group. And this is when learning is very critical as these are pivotal stages of development. You know, this is the pre-readiness stage to move into that sort of formal education. So in reality, Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, many of our children were already experiencing significant learning difficulties and the impact of COVID did not improve this. The State of the Global Education Crisis, it's a report entitled A Path to Recovery, revealed that, and this is the alarming figure, it revealed that uh, the share of children living in learning poverty before COVID was approximately 53%. So more than half of our children, they were already there, not getting what they needed. And it is anticipated when you read this report that approximately 70%, seven out of every 10 of our children in low in low and middle income countries, okay, that they would even suffer more. So think about it. A child here in any of the OECS countries, at least seven out of 10 of these children will be greatly impacted. Before COVID, at least five out of 10. Post COVID, and now our reality, seven out of 10. And what was more profound in this report, and it's clearly stated, it was estimated that the learning losses from COVID would cost this generation close to $17 trillion in lifetime earnings. OECS Commission Project Manager Rafa Gordon gave an overview of the OECS Pearl, which includes refurbishment of underutilized classrooms, providing assistive devices to support those with special needs and best standards to guide, support, and ensure accountability for learning and leadership. Gordon said that 80 leaders across the participating member states will be trained to be able to provide the best quality experience to preschoolers. And so the idea here is that through this program, there will be opportunities, particularly for you to contribute to what we're doing in this sector. And more specifically, as we undertake the refurbishment of 20 spaces in, in the four countries who are the main implementers of this program, we will be providing access to students who initially did not have opportunities to enter an early childhood education center because the parents could not afford it. After refurbishing those spaces, and we hope that many of them would be in primary schools that now can allow with 
rooms, we know that across the territories, the numbers have been dwindling. We would be able to use those spaces, refurbish them and make them ready and appropriate for early childhood education. They would also be furnished and equipped to be able to meet the needs of these children. Once we've created those spaces, we've equipped them, we need to train people to be able to use them effectively to provide the best quality experience so that these children start off early. We also need to provide support to our leaders. So 80 leaders across the countries will be trained over a period of time through an effective job embedded professional development course that would allow them to be able to continue to strengthen the early childhood education center and improve the experiences of our children. The OECS Pearl is funded by Global Partnership for Education and is executed by the OECS Commission. Grenada, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, and Dominica will be the primary recipients of the OECS Pearl program, while the other OECS member states will gain indirectly. For the National Report, I am Sarana Mitchell.